Hi, it's Dorita here, and this is my granddaughter, Kinley. She's in third grade, and she is going to help me explain to you a really cool strategy for rounding and how you can determine what a uh, number is going to look like when you round it for an estimation problem. So we're going to start today with a number. 492 and this number we're going to round to the tens place. So what do we do first, Kenley? You Under. underline the nine and circle the two. The two. Okay. And then you're going to write zero one. No. No, funnier. Yeah. Now, the number that's being rounded, notice that she put these two little bunny ears and those bunny ears are going to help us find the the rounded number in just a minute. So uh, she's going to write some things down on here, and then we're going to show you the uh, we're going to show you the uh, board in just a minute. Okay. So we have it. What? Hey, yeah. So look. So we've got zero, one, two, three, and four on the left side, and five, six, seven, eight, and nine on the right side. Okay. And then up here, you're going to write what it rounds to. So it'd be 90. That'd be the small. Or it'd be 100. Yeah. So, so if it's in the 90s, it's going to either round to 90 or it's going to be closer to the next 100. Okay? So, what do we do now, Kinley? Right now, um, see the 2 is on the left side. And so, you circle the 2, make a straight line, come up. And it'd be nine. So, so your total number rounded when we're done is 400 because we're going to keep the four, 400. But it'd be 490. Mm -hmm. So, excellent job. So, we're going to erase it and we're going to start over and we're going to show you what it would be like if we rounded to the hundreds place. Okay? So, we're going to use the same exact number. So, she's writing 492 again. Okay, and, and this time... Like We're going to round to the hundreds. So you would underline the four and circle the nine. Okay. And you always have to do bunny ears. Usually yeah. So, okay. And then so write your I'm going to write the zero, one, two, three, four, okay. five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So, so zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Okay, so let's show let's show the audience. So we've got our numbers written out, and now we're ready to choose which one we're going to pick. Okay. Okay. So it'd either be four hundred or five hundred. As you can see, I uh -huh. got the different numbers. Yeah. And so um, number left and right, and so. The 9 is over here, and so it'd be 500. 500. So that's a really cool way, isn't it? So we use the, um, we use the underlining on the uh, place digit that we're going to round to, and we make the bunny ears so that you can tell what we would be rounding to. We would either round to 400 or 500. And since the 9 is on the right and it matches this 9 on the right, then it's going to actually uh, lead us to to realize that 500 would be the rounded number. So um, I hope you like this um, this strategy in this video, and, and I thank and, and Kenley, and thank you for being on my channel with me. And so um, please come back and see new videos as we make them. Kenley may be another get may make some more guest appearances. And my cousin. Yeah. So um, subscribe to the uh, channel, please, if if you like these videos, and also um, check out my blog at www.doritamacolors.org for lots and lots of uh, math tips and and uh, and, and lessons. Okay. So <laughs> thank you very much, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks, Twain. Thanks for watching. Bye.